which we have sat to your feet, Lord, that which we have heard, and that which we have done, that which we have seen. Multiply the energy so that when we go back to our congregation and go back to our various places, that this anointing would saturate everything that is connected to us. In the name of Jesus, God, I ask that everything we breathe upon, every business plan, every ministry vision, every child, A simple assignment. Go to, go to the book of Revelation, chapter eleven, verse fifteen. Verse fifteen. Listen. Stand for the reading of the word. Chapter eleven, verse. 15 and 16 and we'll be about five minutes. Kenny the KP, y'all gonna leave me out there like that? I know that's right. Y'all got some better? Oh, you got me? Oh, you, oh, that's his preacher got me. That, that dance is his fire. Listen, we've got to do this real quick. Look at verse 15. Everybody say 15. And the seven angels sounded and there were great voices in heaven saying the kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ and he shall reign forever verse 16 says and the four and twenty elders which sat before God on their seats fell upon their faces and worshipped God verse 17 saying we give thee thanks O Lord which art, which was, and art to come, because thou hast taken to thy great, taken thee to thy great power, and has reigned. Look at your neighbor. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, everything that is kingdom is becoming a praise and a worship. Now let's take a little bit further. Let's take a little bit further. Look at your neighbor. The neighbor, oh neighbor, oh neighbor, if you praise him, praise him. you will raise him. Just get five minutes of this. Just get five minutes right now. this 
your sash. Your praise is not lining up with your possession right now. And your praise and your worship is not necessarily lining up with what you are seeing outside of the four walls. But I just came to just take up the rear and I'm getting ready to go home myself. But I came to let you know that God is getting ready to translate everything out there so that it speaks the language that you're speaking in here. Sing 
church because it's you that's been in your grave. It's you that's been fighting the demons that have been on your track. It's you that have been enduring the sickness when nobody was there to be with you in the hospital. When nobody was there to answer the phone, it was you that had. Was that you? Was that you? Was that you? Then give God a praise. Watch this. Everybody said the second blessing. The second blessing. The second blessing, authenticity. The second blessing is division. You said, how can division be a blessing? Because some stuff you connected to is really hindering you from who you're supposed to be. And from this Pentecost to next Pentecost, you're going to finally learn the lesson of disconnecting. Check this out. 